So if you want to create a set list inside of loop elements, right? Say that there are like several loops that you want to put into a set to use for like a church service or use for a live gig that you're playing on, uh, whatever the case may be, you can easily put any of these loops into a set basically, right? So what you're going to want to do is go into any folder where there's any loops, maybe loops you've created and just click on those loops. So we'll click on this one and get the star. We'll star those loops, right? And this is adding it to your set list. So now when I click on the star, there are all of my loops, you know what I'm saying? Just isolated in one place, right? I don't have to go looking for them. I don't have to do it. You can literally just click the star. There's all your loops. And then you start and run that loop. Then that song runs for as long as you need to start. You don't even have to stop the loop if you don't want to. You can just hit the fade button and it will like fade it out, right? But the loop is still running as you can see, right? Then you can click on your next loop, right? Then you can fade that in. You know what I'm saying? Then y'all do that song for like four or five minutes, right? Fade it out. You know, y'all y'all got y'all thing going on with all of that. Now, it just depends on your vibe. I like the fade in option. I think that's really, really cool because you can kind of keep your um, keep your set running without having to like you can just press the space bar one once at the top of the set and just keep it running. You know, what I'm saying the whole time and you don't have to come out of play mode. And then when you get ready to, you know, bring that in, you just literally hit the fade button and now you're back in with that loop. You know what I'm saying? Then that song runs. Now, if you're the type of person that just likes to stop it, then you can just stop it. And then you can go to the next one and then you get that. See what I'm saying? Get that whole kind of vibe. It's just really however you want to do it. Then you got the shout, of course. All of that's there. And then when you're ready to take it out of the set list, just literally just take the star, just unstar it. Now I got an empty set list, no results, nothing's there, right? And then I can go and add in more loops for that next set or that next thing or whatever. Just that easy, just that simple to kind of create a set that you can work through uh, in a live situation. And I think that's really, really cool. Whether it's the loops you save, the loops you create, the, the loops that you find in our browser that you like, maybe you adjusted some or whatever the case may be. Uh, that's just the easy way to kind of create sets and work through uh, all of that stuff in uh, loop elements.